All right, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Anticade. My name is Andy, as always, and today we are resuming our playthrough of Gogo Nippon, my first trip to Japan. So, in the last episode, we managed to um, get to uh, the girls' house and uh, just spent the night there, passed out from a long after a long flight, and uh, we're just now waking up in the morning. Asadayo. I'm in Makoto, in Akira's house in Japan. And today, I'll get a, to look all around the city of Tokyo. Which means I can't afford to sleep in. I better get up fast. Eh, that's debatable, because like most of the shops don't really open until around 10 or 11 in the morning. So, if you can snooze just a little bit. Just saying. First, bathroom, bathroom. Japanese toilets can't be so different from... Oh, yeah. Maybe not. What the heck is that thing? It's all these rando buttons. What are they supposed to be? Nothing venture, nothing gained. Except some water up my ass. Spoiler alert. Okay, I'm gonna push one. Not like it's gonna explode on me or anything. Well... <laughs> okay, here we go. Switch on. Hmm. What is that? It's like a warm breeze. Blowing up from deep inside. And it smells like my ass. Where is this coming from? Why does the toilet blow wind at me? I'm supposed to be blowing wind at the toilet. That's not how this works, toilet. Okay, I'm gonna press another switch. Take this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Huh, what the? Now there's like... Nozzle rising up inside. Yeah. Wah! I just got sprayed with toilet water. What the hell? There's like water shooting out. Make it stop! 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 <laughs> so, um, a little thing. Uh, I know that some of the newer toilets. Uh, that doesn't activate unless you push the seat down, because it's, like, seat activated. So you can press the button and, like, nothing will happen. That doesn't happen on all the toilets, just some of the newer ones, I guess, so, there you go. You don't have to laugh so hard, Aki-chan. But, but, I wasn't expecting a cry to stress so early in the morning, let alone to find you drowning in the toilet. There's no way I can keep from laughing. <laughs> oh, Aki-chan, really, it's rude <laughs> to laugh so hard. You're the one to talk. You're laughing too, Nei-chan. So, you know, Nei-chan, older sister. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I'm not laughing at all. <laughs> what is this supposed to do? I don't know anything about buttons and pictures and things. How do I Japan? Who would have thought a toilet would wash your butt after you do your business? They even blow hot air to dry you. Japanese people have crazy ideas. Yeah, I never really used the hot air. Um, because it always just smelled like ass. Because, well, <laughs> you can see why. But, uh, yeah, I definitely do miss the, uh, the bidet function. Saved me a, <laughs> both literally and figuratively, a shit ton of toilet paper. Because all you had to do was just wipe to dry yourself off. You didn't have to wipe to clean, which is something I'm missing here in America. I know a little TMI, but... But, speaking of butts, once I used it, it really did feel kind of nice. Anyway, here you go. I made breakfast for both of you. Ray, Honestly, I've been starving ever since I woke up. Let's see. Breakfast menu is... Um... 
English menu on a gashemus. Salad, bread, and eggs. This is... It's kind of hoping for more of a Japanese-style healthy breakfast. That's about right. I thought you might prefer a more familiar kind of breakfast. What do you think? Oh, sure, that's right. That's about what I usually eat. Thanks. Huh? Well then, I guess we'll eat. Sure, we say the ikidakimas, right? Ikidakimas. Oh, speaking of which, where or what do you want to do today? Have you decided where you want to go? Where do you want to go? No, I was gonna think about it later. Uh, where do you recommend? To be honest, I was thinking maybe Akira or I might accompany you. What? Just the two of us? That's three. Yes. One of us has to take care of the house while with our parents away, so we both, or we couldn't both go, but... Yeah, and we're on break from school right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for an Achan or I to take you around. Seriously, that's great! I would appreciate the help. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. So, I know it's sudden, but where do you want to go? Hmm, let me see... Where would I like to go? Ah! Ah, I know. First off, Anichon, can I have a minute? What is it? Just come here. Closer. 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 Ah, you just stay put for a second, okay? Um, sure. Uh, what, what, there they go. Gone. What was that about? Oh well, I guess I'll just wait for them here. Uh, they told me to wait, but it's been five minutes and the music stopped. So, what on earth are they doing? Sorry about that. Sorry for the wait. Oh, there you are. What on earth? Ta da! It's a coat. <laughs> Welcome to Misaki Tours. They actually got the outfits and everything? Wow, that's amazing. Uh, what is up with the outfits? This is what tour guides wear when they show people around. It really gives it that touristy air, you know? Oh, honestly, Aki-chan, did you make these clothes while I wasn't watching? You make the clothes, Akira. Yeah, that's right. She must be really skilled to make things like this, like food and clothes and stuff. She'll make an excellent wife in one day. One day. <laughs> I guess Aki-chan was so looking forward to your visit, she even made tour guide clothes. Didn't know you could do that, but... Alright, uh, okay. <laughs> that's not it. That's not why I did it. Oh my, you're blushing. Grr, in Japanese. Anyway, here, let's pick up our itinerary. Okay, then would you like to choose a regent? Regent? Uh, I choose Japan as my regent. Oh, cool, you can actually pick it. So in this game, travel expenses will be shown on the screen as you travel. Train fare will also be shown on the screen for convenience. All travel expenses between Makoto and Akira's house and sightseeing spots will use the same fare as travel between Tokyo Station and the sightseeing spots. That's cool. Man, okay. So you can go to Saksa, Akihabara, Ikebukuro, Ginza, Shibuya, Shinjuku. Now, I've never been to Ginza or Saksa. I really wish I would have gone to Saksa. Ginza is like major high end shopping, so it's eh, not really my jam. So, um, let's go to some familiar territory. Uh, let's go to. Akihabara. I want to go here! Wow, you're going there. I'll take you. You, Akira! What's wrong? You want it on Achan? That's not it. I don't have any problems with going with you. It's fine. No need to force yourself. I'm not forcing myself. I'd be really happy if you showed me around, Akira. Hmm, I see. Very well. Then I suppose I'll do just that. 
Anyway, you pack up for the day, and I'll get ready too, okay? Gotcha! I thought Akira might get in a bad mood again for a minute there. Thank goodness we avoided that. If we're gonna spend the whole day together, I'd like us to have fun. But I can't just stand there or here thinking about it. I'd better pack! That was quick. Shall we be off? Sure! Oh, I know. Hey, do you mind if we stop by a convenie? Phone beanie? Oh, the convenience store! You mean? Sure, I don't mind. I like coffee. Thanks. We'll stop by the one at the station. Here is some So, uh, yeah, it's a ritual greeting used by shop employees when a customer enters the store. So, <laughs> I made the mistake of, like, uh, replying to them whenever, you know, the greeters would say that. After a while, I kind of figured out, you know, well, if the Japanese people aren't saying nothing, then, you know, I, I probably shouldn't either. So, because, like, I'm used to, like, uh, you know, in America, I guess, you know, where, you know, you walk in a store, like, welcome to, I don't know, like, Walmart, I guess. So, welcome to Walmart. Like, hey, what's up? You know. This is an acknowledgement, you know, that, hey, they said a thing, I'll respond to the, the fact that they said a thing, but that's about it, so. In Japan, you don't have to respond, you know, just maybe a little nod or something, if anything at all, so. Um, and, God, whenever I go to, like, electronic stores or something like that, they'd have employees everywhere, you know, saying, Irisumase! Or, like, they would shorten it to, like, se se You know, they say that all the time and just be like, dude, leave me alone. I mean, thanks, but like, I'm looking at that stuff here, dude. They've got the books and foods and the magazines, even some clothing. This is nothing like the convenience stores in my country. Your beanie are awesome. Yeah. Like, you can get um, random pieces of stuff. I mean, don't expect it to be like a, a full clothing store or anything like that, but... Uh, you can get like a uh, spare uh, dress shirts, tie. I mean, it's not going to be of amazing quality, but uh, you know, it's enough to get you by just in case something happens. What are you looking at? There's just so much more for sale than I expected. I mean, look at this! They sell little cakes and even food. Food? Oh, you mean the bento? Uh, bento is a single portion box lunch made at home or box just take out. And that uh, the, cur the tonkatsu uh, curry rice set I was talking about in the previous playthrough is uh, a bento set. And then they come in different varieties, you know, you can get them with like spaghetti or more Japanese foods of course, but uh, yeah. Bento, I never knew there were so many types of bento. Yeah, the bento you buy at a convenience are also known as <laughs> Combini Bento. There's lots of different types, and they have a new line of every week or so. There are some people who get along eating nothing but Combini Bento. And that's true, you know. And some of it, not all, but some of it can actually be really healthy too. And they even have like a little calorie count on uh, some of the labels and stuff like that. So, that's cool. But just, uh, just be advised that a lot of them go, like, you have to also look at the serving size as well. So don't think that, oh, this whole thing is, like, 300 calories. That's awesome. Sometimes it may be 300 calories per 100 gram or 100 milliliter serving, and it's adding up, and this is why I'm fat. <laughs> Just saying. A new lineup every week? That's amazing. That's unthinkable in my country of non-explicit origin, even though it's actually America. This is... What? What's wrong? That's the, the figurine from the popular Anzgame. Do the Japanese convenience stores even sell these things? Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot. They do, they also sell um, some figurines, not all, but they also have, like some stores, I know Lawson was very big on this, but uh, you know, Lawson brand stores also had like limited edition little Lawson figurines where like, you know, either an anime character or like a standard stock person will be dressed in the Lawson outfits. 
you know, for the people that work there. So that's kind of interesting. You buy a lottery ticket for 500 or 1,000 yen, and you get the figure, it says. Oh, so you win these in a lottery. Uh, but can't you lose in a lottery? You can't lose in a lottery. You might not get exactly what you want, but you'll always get something. As long as we're here, do you want to try it? Sure, let's, let's do it. Gotta get money out of my wallet. Oh, here, let me give you a tip. You remember the Suica you used to ride the train? You can use that to buy stuff in certain Kambini, too. Those are typically uh, Kambini that are close to the train station. Not all of them do it, but it's, uh, it's just typically the ones that are either in the train station or, like, very, very close to it. And uh, you can also use that for certain vending machines as well that are close to the train station or in the train station. You uh, uh, I like the ticket in the lottery. That'd be 500 yen! I'd like to pay with my sweet, uh, we sold it up, up to the terminal. Wow! You see, it's got the sweet things written all over it. Guess I hold my card up here, just like at the station. Wow, Ruth really works. That's amazing. I can really pay with my Suica card. All right, please uh, pull one lot up from the box. Okay, sure. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. That's it. Let me see. So nervous, dude. Ah, an F prize for fucked up. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke's on you, Gaijin. Your prize is a plastic folder set. Plastic pl a folder set? The F prize must be the lowest prize possible. I mean, it's still not bad. And I, I need that folder, but I really wanted a, a figurine. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Stop. Let me remind you, our day is just getting started. Do you really want to have to lug more stuff out to our destination? And keep in mind, we're also going to Akihabara, too, so... Just putting that out there. Oh! Oh well, I'll just have to come back here while I'm here in Japan. Which will be for a week. Thank you! Lottery's cool. Beyond that, I'm more and more impressed by all the things you can buy with the Suica card. Hmm? There's a vending machine over there. It's got the Suica mark, too. Oh, yeah, I just talked about that. I see. So you can even buy drinks or vending machines with this. Isn't it amazing? As, lo as long as you have a charger or your Suica, you can make it do... Or uh, you can make do even if you forget the rest of your wallet. I forgot how to read. <laughs> no kidding. I can't believe a single card will let you ride the trains and buy things, too. We have that sort of thing in my country of America, called a credit card. It's amazing. There are even some cell phones that have Suica built into them. That's pretty cool. I, I, I haven't run into that, but you know. What? You mean if you carry your phone around, you don't even need a wallet? Yeah, it's a convenient world. It is convenient. But it also feels like Japan is such an advanced country. That sound. Oh, that's the train. Oh no, Akira! What is it? What's wrong? That's the sound of the train! We have to hurry or we'll miss it. Huh? Ah, wait a minute. We don't have time for that. Come on, let's go! Ah! Ah! Pants, pants, in Japanese. Ah, we missed it. Look, I don't know why you're so upset, but there's nothing to worry about. The next train will be here in any minute. See, here it is. Let's get on board. <laughs> Joke's on you. It's a local line, bitch. Train really came exactly five minutes later, on the dot. I heard Japan's rail system was amazing, but I didn't know it was this amazing. My country could learn a little from this. At least for America. I, I can't speak for other countries, but... Uh... Uh, it would be nice to have an improved inner-city public transportation system that could connect to other cities, but as far as, like, something like this, um, because America's so big, you know, it's really only convenient to go from, like, one end of the country to the other by plane versus train, because it just takes, like, way too much time. But Japan can do it, because it's, 
you know, I mean, it's this, around the size of California, so it's by no means a uh, small country, but it's a lot smaller than America, so they can afford to uh, do the train system, and I love the Japanese train system, like, for real. <laughs> I didn't really need a car unless I was moving or something like that, so I get by just fine with a train and then a bike. Do, 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 Yay! We're in Akihabara, or some people call it Aki or Akihabara. I don't know why they call it that. Anyway, here's Akihabara. There's a little thing for Taito Station, anime of the day, and yeah. So anyway, here we are. This is, you mean, the place we're exploring today is the, the place that I told you about. That's right. We're in Akihabara. Akihabara? It's like the Holy Land for the Ansgame and the Manger fans. That's right. This is Sparta. The thing over there. Is that, is that a maid? The thing has a name, you know. Whoa! And there's one over there, and over there too! And they're talking about a massage for like, Neemon. What's a Neemon? Is that like a Digimon? The internet said that I could meet maids in Akihabara, but I never thought there'd be so many. Ah, Yoshiku Onagashimasu! Yoshiku Onagashimasu is a, uh, like an introduction ritual. Ritual is a bit of a strong word, but it's a commonly used introduction. She handed it over, so I took took it without thinking. It fits in the palm of my hand. A tissue pack. I actually have a couple tissue packs left over from Japan that were just kind of I put in my uh, in my main backpack and just kind of forgot about. So when I was moving, I was opening them up and I'm like, ah, reminds me so much of Japan. <laughs> Is she giving this to me? Wow, wait a minute. Maybe that maid girl is interested in me? <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, but she's just giving you that as free advertising. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. Like, they, they have, like, a little pack of tissues, and inside the tissue is a card for whatever. Oh, advertising free this? Words? But now that she mentions it, She's giving them to everybody. But I thought I was the only one. I thought you were gonna be my waifu, Meido-chan. Now I am sad. And I think now is uh, time to explore some Akihabara's. I guess I'm not really special at all. Ellipses in Japanese. Were you thinking she gave it to you for some special reason or something? What are you talking about? I wouldn't think that. I'm a gentleman. A gentleman. A gentleman. I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. Hmm. I wonder about that. Hmm. Anyway, where are you gonna take me now, Lakichan? I'm not sure. Why don't we just take a walk around the town first? Okay, let's go. And we're still in the same spot! Alright, so <laughs> I think it's a good time to uh, call an episode for now. And with that said, this is the Andy Song. Bye for now. Thanking you guys boop, for tuning in to this episode of Andy Cade and watching my playthrough of Gogo Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan, and for watching my other stuff. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Bye.